Hello? A call for Tiffany Malloy? Hello? Oh, you want to ask me out on a date? How sweet. Just look over my shoulder and I'll see the boy of my dreams. Uh, it's, it's for you. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? I just got out of my law enforcement class. Today, we learned how to put a knife in a dead man's hand. <laughs> yeah. Professor Furman says I have real potential. Yeah. With your IQ, I guess it's either a cop or selling oranges on a freeway ramp. Yeah, that's my minor. Either way, it's gonna be hard. So, I gotta have fun now, and that's why I decided to join a fraternity. Where do you meet my frat brothers? They're the coolest, best-dressed dudes on campus. Hi, Brother Ryan. I hope you can make the mixer tonight. We're having some fine Chardonnay, a lovely cheese wheel, and the director's cut of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll all hold hands when the scary monkeys come up. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're the most Greek fraternity on campus. Ah, uh, Ryan, did you notice anything different about those guys? Damn good-looking guys, don't you think? <laughs> and when I'm one of them, I'm gonna get every girl on campus. And you should see the girls that these guys hang around with. And they don't just hang around. I mean, these girls go shopping with them. Well, this should be an interesting year. As for me, I'm happy. I may be alone, but at least I've ditched all my annoying high school friends. Tiffany! <laughs> God, not Amber! <laughs> Kiss. Mwah, mwah. God, first day of school. Isn't this exciting? Amber, we've been here for two months. Boy, have a baby, get married, get divorced, and there goes summer vacation. God, everyone here is so clicky. Hmm. Look at those snotty girls. Oh, so perfect. Oh, so better than everyone else. How pathetic. The need to belong. <laughs> I know. We're lucky. We've got each other. Oh, I have got to tell you about my summer. You know that boil I had on my neck? Well, it mixed with the yeast infection. And kaboom! <laughs> but hey, we've got our whole college career to talk about that. Um, excuse me. Are you guys taking new pledges? Yes, but we're very exclusive. We only take the creme de la creme, and we judge you by the company you keep. We're pledging a sorority? Does anyone know how to lance a boil? <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. So mean, you're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen. I guess if you say so, I have to pack my things and go. That's right, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Come on back. Next up, Rosie trots out her toddler for some cheap oohs and ahs. <laughs> Did you guys ever actually sit and watch daytime TV? Look, Oprah, Rosie, and Roseanne are having a pie-eating contest for the queen of daytime. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> True, but for each pie eaten, a penny goes to diabetes. <laughs> raised 20 bucks already. They haven't even sat down yet. Yes. Rosie wasn't so famous, nobody would even know who she was. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Pledge Tiffany Malloy. Yes, I did what you said. I served my family a shaving cream pie. <laughs> Wanna get me some more of this? I love the new bracing lemon-lime taste. It's delicious. Yes, long live Kappa Kappa Gucci. 
home of the future second wives of America. All hail Marla Trump. How'd you like our fraternity motto better? Bachelors forever. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hang on. It's for you. Nobody touched that pie. <laughs> Hello? Skip! Ha! Oh, you're in the sauna? Who you got in there with you? Oh, hey, Flip. Hey, Chip. <laughs> Which girls are there? Oh, come on, you can't fool me. I hear the high-pitched squeals of glee. <laughs> oh, man, you guys. That sounds cool. Yeah, sure. Guess what? We're putting on a play, the musical version of Spartacus. <laughs> I get to be bath slave number two. All right? I think there's something you should know about your fraternity. Uh, let's just say that they don't like girls. Well, duh, nobody likes girls. We just like what they got. <laughs> Those damn cops. You know, I'm walking along minding my own business and I commit the worst crime any American can commit. Jaywalking. <laughs> so the American SS, the bicycle police, come after me. You know, ringing their little bells like I just shot the president or something. <laughs> so I jump in my car and I let them follow me to South Central LA, see? <laughs> then when they're huffing and puffing, I floor it and left them behind just as the gangs were coming out to admire their cute little shorts and dangerous flashlights. <laughs> Oh, no, really? We're real cops, I heard them cry as the baseball bats cracked through their little protective helmets. <laughs> Bicycle police! The thin blue line that protects you from the maniacs who put gum under a bench. <laughs> so anyway, how you guys doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Dad. I'm what makes gonna... you think when I say you, I'm talking to you? <laughs> you never hear Ross say anything, do you? I only care about Tiffany, and he knows it. <laughs> now... How you guys doing? Well, Daddy, I'm thinking about joining a sorority. A sorority? That's all girls. That's good. Yeah. It's Kappa Kappa Gucci. Oh, that's a good one. You know, they uh, turned down your mother. Of course, I guess that doesn't exactly set them apart, does it? <laughs> Dad? Is it my turn yet? Now, Ryan, you know it doesn't go in the order born. It goes in the order loved. <laughs> guess I'm just lucky to be alive then, huh? You could say that again. You have no idea how close it was. So, Ross, how you doing? Fine. No need for any love here, Dad. Ha! Good boy. So, that's everyone. Dad? What? Dad! Dad! He's not here. You know where he went? There's nobody here. Okay, thank you. I'll tell you, Floppy, it's hard being a father. It's your own fault for hanging around. It takes a couple of months before girls find out they're pregnant. It's God's way of giving guys a head start. <laughs> Dad, it's me, Tiffany. <laughs> Ryan joined a fraternity. You want to hear all about it? No, honey, I'm down here talking with Ryan. Oh. Does he know he's there? Yes, and we're having a great time. What's going on down here? Where's Ryan? Well, uh, you're Ryan, and you're, you're right there, see? Oh. Then, uh, what am I doing on the stairs? You were just leaving. Oh, I, I get it. And nice talking to you, Dad. These are the moments you'll treasure, son. <laughs> you know, he's a lot of fun and a lot less trouble than a goldfish. <laughs> but dumb as he is, he has a better life than I do because he's in a fraternity and I never was. You are in a fraternity now, Jack. The biggest fraternity of them all. 
the fraternity of people who drink alone. <laughs> you can see your fellow members all the time at six in the morning, that hellish time between when the bars close and the liquor stores open. <laughs> then they give you the fraternity salutation. Oh, sir, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> that man just jumped out under my tires. <laughs> then there's the handshake. <laughs> Spare change for a veteran? I don't know. I just think maybe I could have done better in life if I got a college education. Gee, Jack, you're a used car salesman living in a basement, talking to a stuffed bunny. How much better can life be than that? <laughs> the only thing you're missing is a young man's teeth and perhaps a female puppet. <laughs> I'm happy with you, Floppy. I don't need a female puppet. It's not for you, Jack. <laughs> I have needs, too. Make her blonde. We can breed uber puppets. <laughs> And I'd like to provide for you, Floppy, I really would, but uh, I just don't have that college degree. Just update your resume. Replace basement alcoholic with college graduate. <laughs> what else have you done in your life? Nothing. <laughs> okay. We'll say you were in the CIA. No one knows what they do anyway. Congratulations, Jack. You're now a college graduate. <laughs> Mr. Floppy, I just... I just wish there was something I could do for you. Well, now that you mention it... <laughs> Goodbye, Jack. <laughs> okay, my sweet. You can be Claudia Schiffer, and I'll be David Copperfield. Watch this magic, baby. God, I hate this hazing. This is humiliating. Oh, Amber, don't worry about it. This is college. They're used to seeing pledges dress up in crazy costumes. <laughs> got to see this through. Does this diaper make my butt look big? No, no, your, your butt makes the diaper look small. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. And how are my baby pledges today? Goo goo gaga. Now, the stuff sorority makes you do is really a good clue as to what kind of people they actually are. I am Spartacus. <laughs> A real man's man, right, Skip? Mm, you little Grecian devil. <laughs> oh, Skip, the chicks are gonna get the wrong idea. Pledges? Be babies for the fraternity boys. They're going to be your masters during slave week. Remember, you have to do everything they say. And if they say you were bad slaves, you don't get in. Now let's baby your way over to the master basket. Goo goo. Ga ga. <laughs> goo goo. Ga, ga. You know what, that's it. This can't possibly be worth it. I quit. Good, because we don't need any friends besides each other. Then again, I've, I've never quit anything in my life, so why start now? Bring it on. I can handle anything. Pick us a good master. Oh, God, it's sticky. Well, who do we get? Who do we get? Ryan Malloy. Friends call me Sparks. Uh More grapes, slave. <laughs> Choke on him, Brucey. I am not Brucey. I'm Spartacus. Your underwear is almost ironed, most magnificent, wondrous, and exalted high master. And I want him white. Oh, they were white? <laughs> Where is my other slave? Bring in Slinky Head. I am here to serve your matchlessness. Do you like this dress better than the last ten? Turn. Bow. <laughs>
Now give me ten. Good, slave. Good. Now dance. I just walked into Bizarro Land. <laughs> Tiffany's doing housework. Ryan is giving orders. And Amber is in a home scene? <laughs> My safe little world is topsy-turvy. I need some sense of reality. Hi, kids. I just got an important job as an accountant. Accountant? You mean we're Jewish? Easy, Ross. I'm not a partner. You know, Daddy, in order to be an accountant, you have to graduate from college. Oh, I got my college degree. How? Down in the basement. <laughs> Jack Malloy, CPA. I don't know what it means, but it pays a hundred thou. See, kids? Stay in school. Or, uh, at least say you did. <laughs> and remember, lying doesn't hurt you with the girls, either. Poppy, I'll tell you this, Mr. Burns is in deep trouble. I mean, what if the IRS knows more about accounting than I do? <laughs> All right. I can't make any sense out of these numbers. You know what it is? I'm bored with my job. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I'm starting to stagnate. Well, of course. After the CIA, naturally accounting is going to seem dull. You need a job where you get to kill people once in a while. Like a doctor. Yeah, but accounting is all I know. I remember a fresh-faced kid right out of the CIA who didn't know anything about accounting either. Mr. Floppy, you truly are the puppet behind the man. I'd rather be the puppet under the nurse. <laughs> uh, hell week has been murder. Hazing, servitude, degradation, dressing up, taking orders from men. Thank God it's over. <laughs> yeah, till marriage. <laughs> You slaves got good reports, and now it's time for me to pass among you and crown the girls we have selected. Sorry, Thumbelina. We didn't accept you. <laughs> What's wrong with her? I mean, beyond the obvious. <laughs> it's the boils, isn't it? <laughs> Always the boils. Actually, you were pre-selected for rejection, so we maintain that aura of exclusivity. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look, Bonnie, I really think you ought to reconsider. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I understand. But... <laughs> Amber tried really hard, and she did everything you asked. She is more superficial and spiteful than the bunch of you. Just give her a chance to prove it. I mean, I know what a backbiting snob she can be, because... I'm her friend. <laughs> Just think about it. Don't push it, Red. Look, Bunny, I'm as eager to put down others as the next girl. I mean, making fun of the way people look and talk and dress, that's all part of being cool. But you have to put your own fun aside when it starts to hurt someone you know. So if you're not taking Amber, you're not getting me. We happen to be bound by a little something called loyalty. Come on, Amber. Does this mean you have an opening? Yeah. You want it? Sure! But Amber, what about friendship? I'm sorry, Tiffany. I, 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 I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> Suckers! <laughs> now you're stuck with Amber. We'll see how exclusive you are when those boils turn out to be contagious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tickets to our little play are on sale. And here's a little taste of what you will see. Come bathe with me. Because I'm... I'm Spartacus. I'm the guy every gay wants to kiss. <laughs> Wait a second, there's a typo here. It's kind of a bad one, too. Shouldn't it be, I'm the guy every gal wants to kiss? Shouldn't it? Silly boy. <laughs> Focus, people, focus. Opening positions, please. Yep. I'm Spartacus. 
I'm not that kind of guy, I guess. <laughs> Touch me again, and you're gonna die, I guess. <laughs> Good thing I didn't, uh, go into the bath, I guess. <laughs> Tiffany, why didn't you tell me that this was a gay fraternity? Oh, uh, Dad told Ryan in the basement. Oh, Ryan, 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 it's always Ryan. You know the rumor on campus is he's gay? <laughs> So how'd the whole sorority thing work out? Oh, right according to plan. Oh, so you got in? No, I got Amber in. My master plan finally worked. I finally got somebody else to pick up the load of being her friend. And I got this boil in Atlantic City in 1991. <laughs> finally, I'm free. Free from all my boring loser high school friends. Tiffany! <laughs> You'll be operating on Mr. Burns, doctor. He had a heart attack when his accountant didn't show up for his tax audit. Well, don't you worry, Mr. Burns. I'm sure everything is going to be just fine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's better. Okay, let's just uh, see what we got, shall we? Wait a second. I know this guy. You're my stinking accountant. I'm not an accountant anymore. I'm a doctor now. You should see his resume. It's astounding. <laughs> Wait. What about anesthesia? Oh, don't worry. I can't feel a thing. <laughs> Who wants a wing? Hi, kids. If you were watching, I bet you worried about old Mr. Floppy. Well, as you can see, I'm fine. I used the stunt double. I'd like you to meet my double, Steve Courage. We're almost identical, but I'm much more valuable. Can I have a line one week? With a voice like that? Are you kidding?